So, imagine this. You're an AK Worlds player, just like everyone else. And one day, you wake up from the Yulgar attic, ready for today's adventure. You head downstairs, only to realize Yulgar now looks like someone poured a giant bucket of brown paint on top of it. But you pay no mind to it and head outside. You feel like farming. This game's about farming cool items after all, right? You remember there's a new event where you can let Dage the Dark Lord empower your items. Sounds cool enough. Maybe he can enchant some of my ultra rare items like this Venom head right here. So you head down to Ultra Dage and take a look at the options. You go through the bottom four quests, only to realize all of them require rare items. This is not really an option for you, so you look around some more. Let's see, Necrotic Sword of Doom, Two Elitist, Kalad Ball, does it look like I'm made of money? Lich King looks weird, Undead Champion is too newbie, Forge Spawn? And considering it was after Undead Champion, it's bound to be pretty easy to get, right? Oh, you get it from the Underworld. Maybe once I'm here, I'll just quickly get the set to go along with it. Let's see what this guy wants in return. Looks like there are only six major requirements. Okay, so you need to kill Gerberus 71 times. <laughs> can do that with my eyes closed. Five million gold? A couple of slime staffs from Green Garden, I'm good to go. 10,000 Legion tokens? Uh, well, I guess we found the challenging part. But not too bad, honestly. The rest of the stuff is probably, you know, just extra stuff. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. If this was your reaction to hearing their requirements, don't worry, that's quite normal. What's not normal, however, is actually wanting tips on how to farm this thing, which I will now be giving out. So for the Legion tokens, use the Shogun Paragon pet, or if you don't have it, you can farm Legion tokens in Dreadrock, for example. For the Bone Dust, just sit in the first room of Battle Under B. My go-to setup was Archfiend or Legion Revenant, plus the Blinding Light of Destiny for extra damage against the Undead. The same setup goes for the Favors, where you want to be sitting in this room right here. For the Dark Tokens, you want to go to Seraphic War Dage and go down to the two rooms with the Commanders and go back and forth doing this quest here. Once you notice that they don't drop medals anymore, you can turn them in from these buttons and continue doing the quest. I used the same classes here, but switched my weapon out for Prince Darken's Poleaxe. Alright, now after all this farming, it is finally time to get the Legion Forge spawn set. We're still missing the last Soul Essence, so let's go and get that quickly. And there it is. The final requirement. Now we should have. There we go. 50 soul essences. Now let's go get this bad boy. I'm still missing the armor and the cape. So I will buy those. Go here armor, bam, and get the cape, bam. Let's go check what they look like. Well, there it is. 
And some of you might be thinking, why on earth did I spend all this time farming this set? It's not even that special. Well, there's actually an obvious reason for that. And the reason to that is...